Do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys, if you're new to the channel and if you happen to enjoy this video. You know, it's kind of funny how Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder are both considered avoided, are both considered the boogeymans in a sense, right? Because when it comes to uh, Luis Ortiz, like that's his nickname. That's his, his nickname. They call him the boogeyman. They call him the, they call him the dark horse of the heavyweight division. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, when it comes to Deontay Wilder, they say they that uh, you know Josh was ducking him. They said that Fury was ducking him before. So both of these guys have this thing where they're like perceived as boogeymans. But funny enough, the real boogeyman in the heavyweight division happens to be Anthony Joshua. Okay, because funny enough, this year alone, this year 2019, the two supposed the two supposed uh, boogeymans, Deontay Wilder and. Uh, Luis Ortiz, both of these dudes ducked Anthony Joshua this year. Both of them. The LDBC have said since uh, 2017, have claimed since 2017, that Anthony Joshua is afraid of Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder. They said Eddie Hearn wants to keep Anthony Joshua away from Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder. Yet this year alone, this year alone, the only two guys who declined a fight with Anthony Joshua was the two supposed uh, boogeymans. Earlier on this year, Eddie Hearn, the zone, went over to Deontay Wilder, said, listen, Deontay Wilder, we want to make this undisputed fight. So we're going to offer you $100 million. And Wilder said, nope, that's not enough. That's not enough. I'm faithful to, sh to Showtime. Sorry. And then uh, when they asked him about it, he says, I'm not ducking uh, Joshua. It's just everything takes his time. Everything takes his time, right? That was his excuse, right? So he ducked Anthony Joshua. So I don't want to hear Deontay Wilder's this boogeyman. He's a straight up ducker. He is the reason why Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder are not uh, be becoming, are not fighting for undisputed. He's the reason why right now we don't have an undisputed champion because of Deontay Wilder. So let's get him out of the way. Now we got Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz and his big mouth and his big, you know, because the thing is, Deontay Wilder fans basically like carried over to Luis Ortiz. They carried over to him because they, they, I don't know what it is about Deontay Wilder, but it's like Deontay Wilder to the LDBC is like, is like Deontay Wilder, Luis, no, Luis Ortiz is like Deontay Wilder 2.0. To, for the LDBC when it comes to the heavyweight division. Because the LDBC talk about Luis Ortiz the same way they talk and defend about uh, Deontay Wilder. Oh, he's a boogeyman. Nobody wants to fight him. He deserved this much. He deserved that much. Eddie Hearn. These guys have claimed. These LDBC guys I'm referring to. They have claimed that Anthony Joshua is afraid of Luis Ortiz. They said Eddie Hearn does not want to risk this uh, potential uh, disaster fight for Anthony Joshua, right? So they don't want to. So that's why he's not making this fight happen. Luis Ortiz. Th then we find out yesterday. Okay, we find out yesterday or the day before that Eddie Hearn offered him five million. If Eddie Hearn was protecting Anthony Joshua, why the fuck would he offer? Luis Ortiz, $5 million. That's a massive amount of money, okay? That's more money than Luis Ortiz has ever received. If, if, if Eddie Hearn really was protecting Anthony Joshua and trying to keep him away from Luis Ortiz, the way LDBC claim, the way these uh, Girl Scout cookie uh, leader uh, boxing channels claim, I should call them that, the Girl Scouts, he would have, because, you know, uh, Jay Geminis, the, the Luis Ortiz, uh, uh, you know, manager, said that Eddie Hearn gave him a low ball. A low ball. He was, he was trying to, he was trying to basically act as if Eddie Hearn offered him 100K. That's a low ball. If I heard Eddie Hearn offered Luis Ortiz 100K when his highest purse was 500K and he was offering Jerome Miller 8 million, I would be the first guy to come out here and say, what the fuck? 100K? Come on, Eddie Hearn, you could do better than that. So I was under the impression that maybe that was the case. Maybe because Jay Gemini said, you know, it was a low ball. So I was thinking, okay, what, what, what did Eddie Hearn say here? 100K fight Anthony Joshua, Luis Ortiz. But then we find out it was 10 times the, 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 the more money that he's ever received in his career. 5 million. Right? 
So you can't come out here, Jay Geminis, and these LDBC uh, Girl Scout cookie uh, uh, boxing channels can't come out here and say it was a low ball. Bitch, you can't say that because his biggest press was 500000 against Deontay Wilder 13, 14 months ago. Okay? He hasn't made 500000 since then. He's probably been making like 100 k per fight because he's been fighting nothing but low-quality heavyweights since he lost against or maybe I should say quit against Deontay Wilder, right? This guy has the nerve to say to turn down $5 million when he never seen that type of money in his life. Who's turning this down? Anthony Joshua, LDBC, or Luis Ortiz? Luis Ortiz. So I don't want to hear that uh, Anthony Joshua's ducking Luis Ortiz. Anthony Joshua's ducking Deontay Wilder. Because this year alone, LDBC, Anthony Joshua was trying to make the fights with the two supposed boogeymans of the heavyweight division. And guess what? Both of these dudes walked away. Deontay Wilder walked away from $100 million earlier this year. Yesterday, two days ago, Luis Ortiz said, no, that's too low for me. Bitch, you never made $5 million, $2 million, $1 million, but that's too low for me, right? If this fight doesn't get made, everybody, everybody has to blame Luis Ortiz. Not Eddie Hearn, not Matchroom, not Anthony Joshua. These guys were trying to make this fight happen. Luis Ortiz bitched out. And I'm telling you right now, he's going to regret this. He's going to regret uh, doing this. I'm telling you, man. When he loses again, it's over. His career is over. He's never going to make these type of paydays. He's never made this type of payday. He's going to regret this. When well, he's going to be sitting in his couch somewhere in Cuba one day saying, fuck. His wife's probably going to divorce him. His wife's probably going to say, man, you could have made life-changing money for us. And you and you chose to fight Deontay Wilder for, for half a million? Are you fucking kidding me, Ortiz? She's probably going to slap him. She's probably going to stop cooking him fucking uh, food and fucking lunch and shit. I'm telling you, man, she's going to file for the, you're going to hear in the future, a Luis Ortiz's wife files, uh, uh, a files divorce papers for fucking Luis Ortiz after 13 years of marriage. That's what you're going to hear. I'm telling you, man, she's probably pissed off too. Listen, man, the real boogeyman in the heavyweight division is Anthony Joshua. Facts. Every time somebody fights him, they out, and when I say somebody, I'm talking about the elite heavyweights. If you notice, when it comes to the elite heavyweights, they always try to ask for the most money, okay? All the, the, the heavyweights that aren't as, you know, I guess, known or as respected, they are happy with, 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 with whatever uh, Eddie Hearn offers them. Carlos Tackham was happy when he received that $5 million payday. Alexander Povetkin was happy. I, I, I don't know how much he got paid, but I would imagine he, he got paid millions. Vladimir Klitschko was happy. But when it comes to these boogeymans, these so-called so boogeymans that they really want to fight... Anthony Joshua. It's just Anthony Joshua's ducking them. These so-called boogeymans, they're the only ones who make it so fucking difficult to make these fights happen. The real boogeymans are the guys that actually fight Anthony Joshua. Yeah, because they don't give a fuck. In their mind, they think it to themselves, you know what, I could be AJ. I'll make this money in the rematch, I'll make hard but they're the, they're the real fucking boogeymans. They're the guys you gotta give respect to and pay respect to. But when it comes to these so-called boogeymans, Ortiz, Deontay Wilder, they're the ones who are bitching out. Okay? They're the ones. We could have been have undisputed champion. You know, we could have been had it. But it's because these so-called boogeyman. So, like I said, let's start calling Deon Anthony Joshua the real boogeyman of the heavyweight division. That's all I have to say, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, as always. And if you watch the video from start to finish, especially to the end, because I know some sometimes people don't watch the whole video. But if you watch the whole video, I do appreciate it. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.